Aloha, I'm Kiana Kayabyab, and here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Honolulu police have opened a first-degree arson investigation after a fire broke out at another Waikiki surfboard rack early this morning. Police say this is the second time in three weeks that a fire was intentionally set to a Waikiki surfboard storage area. Today's fire broke out before 3.50 a.m. at the surfboard racks near the Cheesecake Factory. Three weeks ago, prosecutors charged 48-year-old Glenn Helton with first-degree arson in connection with the October 17th fire at the surfboard racks near the Waikiki Police Substation on Kalakaua Avenue. 500 surfboards were destroyed in that blaze. Helton is still being held at the Oahu Community Correctional Center on $70,000 bail. In February 2020, another arson fire destroyed about 525 surfboards at the same site as last month's fire. Hawaii's Department of Health reported 13 new coronavirus deaths today and 112 additional infections. 11 of the deaths were on Oahu and two were on the Big Island. The latest figures bring the state's virus death toll to 932 and the total number of infections since the start of the pandemic to 84,690. Today's new infection cases include 57 on Oahu, 28 on Hawaii Island, 18 on Maui, 7 on Kauai, and two Hawaii residents who were diagnosed outside the state. There were 13 new COVID hospitalizations reported today, but Hawaii hospitalization rates remain low with 65 virus patients in Hawaii hospitals as of yesterday. The number of active coronavirus cases also remains low with just over 1,600 reported today, down 45 from a day earlier. A former Maui police officer was sentenced Wednesday to two and a half years in prison for fraud charges after he solicited sex from a woman he pulled over. Branded Safiels pleaded guilty in May to seven counts of honest services wire fraud. He admitted that he offered to help the woman by botching his testimony about the 2019 DUI traffic stop, but that wanted to pursue a sexual relationship with her in exchange for sabotaging the case. Prosecutors said he got the woman's phone number from a police report and then solicited the bribe in the form of sexual favors. Acting U.S. Attorney for the District of Hawaii, Judith Phillips, said Safiels betrayed the expectation that law enforcement officers will not take advantage of their authority for personal benefit. A federal astronomy report has ranked the cutting-edge 30-meter telescope among its top priorities for funding from the U.S. government. The ranking is a major boost for the controversial telescope planned for the summit of Mauna Kea on the Big Island. The National Academy of Sciences Astro 2020 report was released this morning and recommends that TMT and the U.S.-led giant Magellan Telescope in Chile share $1.6 billion in funding. The two massive telescopes are designed to work together as part of the U.S. Extremely Large Telescope Program. The report describes both telescopes as transformative to the science of astronomy. Finally, the U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee today approved President Joe Biden's nomination of Claire Connors to be the next U.S. Attorney for Hawaii. The nomination now goes to the full Senate. Senator Maisie Hirono of Hawaii spoke briefly in support of the appointment before the vote. Hirono lauded Connors' experience as an assistant U.S. attorney, state attorney general, and lawyer in private practice. Republican Senators Josh Hawley of Missouri, Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee, and Mike Lee of Utah opposed Connors' nomination. Hawley and Blackburn also voted against the other four U.S. attorney nominations up for consideration for Colorado, Rhode Island, Vermont, and Southern Ohio. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Are you ready to score big? Make sure to check out the Honolulu Star Advertiser's Football Fever every Monday through Wednesday for your official ballot to play and enter for a chance to win $500 weekly or the chance to win the grand prize, a Big Green Egg Kamado Grill. Match or beat the score and you qualify to win. 
Don't forget to drop off your entry at select Long's Drugs locations. Good luck! Special thanks to sponsors Long's Drugs, Hawaiian Telecom, and Mercedes-Benz of Honolulu.